Welcome to Lesson 4, Preparing the Balance Sheet for Mike's Bikes. You may recall that in Lesson 3, Mike's Bikes prepared the income statement, and the numbers for the income statement came from the column that we called Equity Earned. And if you remember, all changes in equity as a result of revenues, less expenses, could be summarized in the formal statement known as the income statement, which is right there. Today, we're going to come back to the database and we're going to look at all the ending balances for Mike at the end of his first month of operation. Now, these balances are after all adjusting journal entries have been posted. So we can see here that Mike's ending balance for cash is 86600 He has a building that cost 180000 but he depreciated $500, calculated down here. He had some prepaid insurance which he had bought for $2,400, of which one month had been used up. And of course, he sold all of his bike inventory. His only debts now are the mortgage or the note payable that he uh, borrowed from the bank, the money he borrowed up from the bank. And he also owes the bank some interest now. The difference between everything he owns less what he owes is the sum of his owner's equity. Equity consists of the equity contributed by the owner or the owners, and the remaining equity is the equity earned. Okay, today for the balance sheet, all we want to do is take these ending balances here and put them in a nice looking statement that, uh, that looks like this. This is Mike's bike business. It's the balance sheet for the uh, period uh, July 31, 2013. Another name for the balance sheet is called the Statement of Financial Position. The balance sheet is a formal uh, financial report that companies filing uh, financial statements with the Securities and Exchange Commission must file. Now, Mike's Bike, of course, is a small-time entrepreneur, uh, um, but we are illustrating how this company for Mike would file a balance sheet if he were filing with the uh, Securities and Exchange Commission. So here we go. Let's take the amount of money in cash, 86.6. With Excel, we simply cl click in our destination cell. We hit equals up here. And then we go back to our database. We then click in the cell we want to retrieve. That's called the uh, origination cell. And then you take your hands off the uh, mouse, and now we just hit enter. And now we've linked the balance sheet, uh, the formal balance sheet, with the database right there. Going back to the balance sheet, we can now get the uh, amount for prepaid insurance. We hit equals, then go to Mike's Bike Shop database, and we get his prepaid insurance balance right there. Likewise, we can link inventory, which we know has a zero balance to his balance sheet. So the sum of his current assets is 88,800. Mike's building, we call that he paid 180,000 for this building, but he has depreciated in his first month $500, which is this number right there. So the net of these two, of course, is what we call the accounting book value. And let's just put a reminder, we'll insert a comment, and the cost less salvage value, or a less accumulated depreciation is known as the assets book value. And of course this feature, the insert comment feature, is a real nice reminder of where the numbers uh, come from. So here, the sum of our current assets and our current liabilities, let's equal, we're going to add up this number, um, let's go sum of that number plus this number, right paren, and our total assets are 268300 Now, a balance sheet shows everything that a business owns on the left, and this is known as, well, the, anything a business owns as the uh, sum of its assets. And on the right, we show where we got those assets. We got them either from the banker or other creditors, or we got them from the owner. So the current liabilities here, 
The interest payable, let's go back to the database, and the interest payable is $17.50. That's a current liability because we owe the bank that within a year. And the loan payable is equal to the amount right there. So the sum of our two liabilities we are, are uh, 250. Actually, we need to make sure we get all of those numbers right there. So of the 268,000 that Mike owns, he owes 211,000. Mike's contributed equity is equal to his ending balance and the amount he's contributed right there. And we know that his total ending equity earned is 16,550. But equity earned uh, for a corporation would be called retained earnings. And uh, we take our revenues, less all of our expenses, as we saw in our income statement, the sum of that was net income of 16550 So we can call beginning earned equity was zero. Our net income, let's just go to the income statement. We'll grab that number. And Mike didn't take any money out of the business this year. So his total equity should be the sum of his contributed equity and his earned equity. That's 56650 That's the amount in H21. And now to add up our total liabilities and equity, we simply, uh, let's go equal, left parentheses, let's get this number, and we're going to add that to that number. And so lo and behold, our total assets equal our total liabilities and equity. This concludes our lesson four preparing the balance sheet for Mike's Bikes. In Lesson 5, we'll complete his next financial statement called the Statement of Cash Flows.